Hey guys, Pat with Grip here. Uh, we're getting ready to deliver this new wheelchair accessible van to a client uh, this afternoon. And we did something a little bit special on this one. We wanted to show everyone how it works. So uh, this client is, is a little bit what you'd call old school. He uh, isn't big into electronics, likes real things uh, simple as can be. And uh, you know, his concern with electronics is he wants to be able to fix it himself, you know, in his driveway 20 years down the road. This client is uh, has a very capable upper body, but he is in a wheelchair. So if you know much about uh, wheelchair accessible vans, you know, there's essentially two types. There's manual vans and power vans. And what I mean by that is a power van, of course, you're going to hit a button on your key fob and the door is going to slide open, your ramp's going to deploy, and you're going to be able to, in your wheelchair, go up and down the ramp and in and out of the vehicle. Then there's manual ramps uh, where you grab onto the ramp and physically move them in and out. Those are more what we call a caretaker van uh, for someone, you know, when you're you're moving around a family member, say, that you always have someone with you. So it's not usually possible for a manual ramp uh, to be actuated by someone in a wheelchair. Uh, it's just out of reach. Uh, you have to reach very low and uh, you don't really have a way to close it. Uh, when you're on either side of the ramp, so it gets uh, complicated. So this particular client wanted us to engineer a manual system to open and close the ramp, uh, as opposed to having an electronic system. So we came up with this on our own, and we wanted to show you guys how it works. So as you can see, uh, this uh, is all open up now. It is a manual van with a manual door and manual ramp, and uh, we added this lever system to open and close the door. So when you're outside the vehicle, when he's outside in his wheelchair, he's just gonna come along and grab onto this handle right here and physically lift it up and close it in place. Now, you might think that's a lot of effort, but it does have uh, an assist on the side there. And uh, that's gonna make it a little bit easier to open and close. And uh, this, this gentleman is, like I said, fairly capable upper body, pretty strong guy. So once you get in the car, uh, what you do, once he's in the car in his wheelchair, he wants to close his uh, ramp up. You know, this would be where it would be a problem with a regular manual ramp because you'd have no way unless you're on the outside of it to uh, go and close it. But we added this lever system here. What you do, grab this bar, give it a pull, and the whole thing comes up to you, locks right into place, and you're on your way. You might say, well, what about the bar? Isn't that in the way? You know, his wheelchair is going to be in this space. He's not going to be able to turn around. And that's true. That's why it's removable. <laughs> so you just take it out, put it wherever you like. And uh, when you get to where you're going, put the bar back in. Then you grab the handle again. Just give it a, a pull. The whole thing comes out of place. Comes right down. You're on your way. Pretty cool, huh? We also did a set of hand controls and a BND six-way transfer seat base. I'll go ahead and grab this. So when he pulls up here in his wheelchair, he can uh, come right back with his seat. Turn it around, you know, transfer in and out of his wheelchair however he needs to. Spin himself back around. And just like that, he's behind the wheel, driving from the regular uh, seat of the vehicle, and he's on his way. So, as always, guys, if you have any questions on any of these products, uh, any wheelchair accessible vehicles, hand controls, driving aids, anything the like, give us a call, email, uh, Facebook Messenger, stop by the showroom here at uh, 4850 Route 102, just outside of Fredericton. Any questions at all, let us know. Anyway, thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.